Good morning, everyone. Mike Stuchina, Master Herbalist. And today is another video in the series for Z Natural Foods Herb and Superfood Education Program. Today I'm going to talk about a really to interesting topic that really fascinates me, that I have great experience in. And it's the understanding of compensation. Many lives ago, I was a licensed massage therapist. I haven't practiced in about seven years, close to six or seven years. Uh, I no longer have a license. I just decided no longer to do it after a while. And <clears throat> one of the things that I, one of the things that I learned about um, compensation over the years has become very fascinating to me and I want to go into this topic and make you understand how amazing the body really is and how the body is so capable of compensating in order to find balance and homeostasis. So <clears throat> when I was going through massage school and I graduated from massage school in 2000 okay, when I uh, achieved my license. And in that time, when I was in massage school, one of the things I was taught to do was to allow the patient to walk in front of me on the way to the therapy room because it gave me the opportunity to look at the way they walk or otherwise known as their gait, okay? And I would probably have to say, if I gave a percentage, I would say 90 to 95% of the people that I treated over the years showed that they were compensating and that they were uh, favoring one side of their body over another. Most often this occurs with, there's so many reasons why this happens, um, tight muscles, um, injuries, accidents, Whatever is happening to you over time, what occurs is, is that, let's say, for example, you got, you got into a car accident and you're in pain for a week or two from that car accident. What will often happen is, is that you will favor the good side over the bad so you can continue moving forward and living your life, but yet at the same time what occurs is, is that your brain reestablishes a new pattern for the way you walk and the way your body holds itself in order to compensate because if it didn't what would happen is you would just fall over okay you wouldn't be able to walk straight anymore and even though as the therapist I viewed you not walking straight according to you and the way your mind was thinking the way your brain was working you were perfectly normal and you didn't notice I guess what was pretty astonishing to me was when I did an intake form with the patient and then I talked to them about it, they had no idea what was going on. I was, the first few years I did this, it was almost, it almost blew my mind because I said to myself, how does this person not feel this? And that's when I dug in deeper and I learned it's because the brain reestablishes neuromuscular patterns for that person when they're hurt in order to compensate so they can continue to feel a, a, a sense of balance in their body, okay? So this was pretty interesting, okay? Um, like anything else, um, balance is something that can certainly be reestablished. Um, and it's like anything else, you have to reteach your body and your, your brain how to get back to those proper neuromuscular patterns. So what I often did with these people was I would give them a series of exercises and a series of stretches that they were required to do five, six, even as many as ten times a day. There were simple things they can do at their desk um, in order to do this because what this would do is it would, it would help for their for them to reestablish a proper pattern by loosening those by loosening the areas that were overcompensating and by strengthening the areas that were undercompensating or when I just say strengthening I mean those muscles that no longer were working effectively and efficiently you would reteach them how to fire 
okay? And that's one of the things that I did. And it didn't take, it wasn't hard exercises or hard movements, but it was about continuous, consistent doing of it that really made the biggest difference. And over time, that neuromuscular pattern really became reestablished. At first, what was interesting was, was that when the patient started seeing a difference, it was almost like they said, well, I don't feel normal. Like, I feel like I'm tipping when I walk and, and whatnot. The irony is, is that that was a part of that healing process. This was what happened in order for that person to be able to get back to a normal pattern. And, you know, again, based on the patient's compliance, it would take 10 maybe even 12 weeks, maybe even longer, some shorter, based on how much this patient was willing to do. And I would probably have to say about 95% of the people I helped got better and reestablished those proper patterns and they no longer had those issues anymore. So the reason I'm telling you this and the reason I'm doing this video is so you once again can see another wonderful example of how the body is always trying to compensate and look for balance in order to keep your body as efficient as possible. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.